Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope you're having a great day and uh, you know, down here in Augusta still, not the most scenic of places, but it's been very difficult to find a place where I can actually kind of talk in my vlog. So I, I want to continue the conversation that I've been having this week about documentation and making little steps towards bigger goals. Because you know, things are really overwhelming in life. And I think that we often kind of like tell ourselves a story like we can't get started, we can't do this, we can't do that. But it's because we're not thinking simple enough. And it kind of starts with writing down on a piece of paper. It starts with just thinking about it first. I mean, I think that we live in a world where we feel like we always have to execute, that we're not really planning. And if you're not planning anything, it's, it's very difficult to say, I'm gonna write something down. And so I think the first thing that most people should do is just, this is my, this is my practical advice for today, is finding yourself in a quiet place. Because a lot of people would say that that's meditation, a lot of people would say that that's, you know, finding a, like a maybe a peaceful place, maybe doing some yoga or something like that, but you know, it's, I, a lot of people knock it, but I actually think there's something to it. When you finally turn off the TV and you turn off your phone, you turn off YouTube, you turn these things off and you start to hear your inner voices, what happens is you can't escape what you're telling yourself anymore. See, for me, a big problem was in high school, as a younger, as a younger kid, as a, as like a teenager, I would escape problems through video games. Right? Turn on a video game. Instantly, I'm like immersed in some world of you know whatever action stuff. That's not me. It's not me. And. <sighs> What's sad about that is when you turn off a video game, just like when you turn off a movie, just like when you turn off a TV show, all of a sudden you return to the reality that's your life and you're like, man, I miss that TV show. Because you're living in their moments, their memories, their actions, their execution. And so I think that when you turn all that stuff off and it doesn't have to be forever, right? Like you still can go on Facebook and you can still do all these things, but I just think that if you're in the process of transforming yourself or doing something that's really different from what you usually do, it might behoove you to find some quiet time and get in touch with yourself. Because I just, I think that for me, I wasn't close enough to myself before I started like, you know, saying, okay, yeah, I'm going to go to Argentina, I'm going to learn Spanish, I'm going to go to Ecuador, I'm going to teach English, I'm going to come back and do, you know, a degree in math. I don't even know how to like calculate a tip and get a degree in physics, you know, that was a really big undertaking for me. Probably not a big undertaking for a lot of other people who got a degree in physics with me, but like for me, that was special because it was my plan. It was my execution and it made me feel good. I wasn't doing it for anyone else. And I'm not, I'm not being compared to anyone else. When you do it for yourself, then you're happy. And it took like a quiet meditation of thinking about what I want to do. It took a, a bit of time for me to sit by myself and kind of think about what I want to do and who I want to be. And, um, you know, for me, that happened kind of, I kind of, someone kind of forced my hand into it actually. Because I was on exchange and I couldn't speak English. So I had a lot of time to myself actually. I had a lot of time where I didn't really know how to speak Spanish. So I was kind of forced to think about things. And maybe it's learning a new language. Maybe it's the cultural experience of living in a new country. But I think most of all, most importantly, is I had like this time to kind of think to myself about what I want to do and who I want to be, where I wasn't just surrounded by noise, surrounded by, you know, like distractions and people telling me what to do. You know, we're constantly influenced by these things that we think are just like external. We're constantly influenced by social media or, you know, a TV or this vlog, hopefully, you know, the vlogs that I put out, I want them to be positive influences. I don't want them to be something that's gonna make people do things they don't wanna do. I mean, every video I basically end it with hoping that you're going to leave this video and never watch my channel ever again. Cause I really, I don't think you need to. I think that almost every single video, video I make is a one-time video. Like, I don't need people to constantly watch every single video that I make. Cause if you're doing that, you're not really doing what I'm saying. What I'm saying is turn off YouTube, go make your own YouTube channel, turn off Facebook, turn off Instagram, go make your own thing, go do your own thing that makes you happy and do it for yourself. That's it. All right.
Well, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.